Fall is the best time of all to plant garlic. So we've got lots of varieties of garlic here at Anderson Seed and Garden. Soft neck varieties are the most common varieties you'll buy at the grocery store. So this is this is uh, Lord's Italian. Soft neck varieties have a, a softer stem on them. They tend to keep longer, so they, they'll last longer after you harvest them. And uh, they have really great flavor, but it, it's it's kind of variable. So sometimes it's a little milder, sometimes it's a little hotter. But the uh, great thing about soft necks is they usually produce good sized heads and they keep the longest. We're, we're talking usually between four to six to maybe even eight months. They'll keep really, really quite well. We have a lot of different varieties of soft neck garlics to choose from. In fact, we've got uh, 17 varieties of garlic this year. Hard neck varieties, on the other hand, have a harder stem. So we've got Chesnock Red here, which is an organic variety. So this is a certified organic variety. And we have our Ukrainian here as well too. Now the stems on these have a much harder, like you can't bend them. They've got a, a real hard uh, growth in there that's part of the stem that comes up. So the hard necks, they, they aren't as flexible. You can't braid the stems together like you can with the soft necks. They tend to have a more even flavor. They can be really robust. Uh, they can be a little spicy. So they tend to have a, a lot more punch to them uh, when it comes to flavor for the garlic. And uh, they still keep really quite well. Sometimes three to six months is pretty average for a hard neck variety and uh, really, really great rich flavors. We've got uh, Susan Delafield. We've got uh, German Red, Spanish Roja, the Red Chesnock. We've got lots of different varieties to choose from. When it's time to plant, what you want to do is you want to take those cloves and you want to break them apart so that you get the, the individual cloves. Now these individual cloves, we're going to plant oh, about four inches deep and about six inches apart. And when I dig my holes, I like to put a little fertilizer down the bottom, like a little bit of Dutch bulb food or some bone meal. And I've got some really great varieties of uh, fertilizer to put down in there that will feed them throughout the winter time, September, October, even the first part of November. We just want to make sure and get those, those cloves planted before the ground freezes. So we've got plenty of time to, to plant during the fall. A little bit of fertilizer down the bottom, about a teaspoon per hole, work it into the soil drop your clove in there, cover it up, make sure and water them. They really need to be watered after you get them planted and then kind of watch the weather after that. If we're getting consistent rainstorms, you probably don't have to water too much, but if not, then we want to make sure and water those at least every other week so they have some good soil moisture. So they'll come up, sometimes they'll even come up in the fall, a little bit of snow over the top of them. They'll just uh, kind of wait there till spring. And then when spring comes, they'll take off like crazy. You'll have garlic to harvest in uh, late July, early August of next year. So a lot of great varieties of garlic to choose from here at Anderson Seed and Garden. Great time to get out there and plant. And uh, if you don't want to plant some, you can just come in and get some to eat.